Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we speak about Tesla and a road trip in Model 3 in Europe. Today we are in the south of France but are on the way to the mountain in the Alps. We are going to go to Monetier les Bains in Serre Chevalier next to Briançon. We are going to see if we can recharge the car there at the charger in Monetier les Bains and we are going to test how the car will handle the road to go up the mountain but also to be under extreme condition with minus 10 degrees under the snow how the battery is going to survive those conditions to be able to drive us back to our destination so hope you enjoy it sit back relax enjoy the video So first, we have to explain a bit where is this destination. It is in France, in the south of the Alps, and it's a resort called Le Monetier Les Bains, a small village which is part of Ser Chevalier Ski Resort. And you can see if you come from the UK, it's quite a long road. It's around 10 to 12 hours. But we were going from the south of France and we check on a better route planner. The road was going to be around three hours and 15 minutes. This is if you don't stop and you could start with 100% charge and arrive with 13% at your destination. But we didn't want to risk it. So we looked at the charger at Sisteron will be around 50% uh, on the way. And this was a good stop for us because you do most of the highway to arrive at Sisteron. And at Sisteron, you have eight superchargers at 250 kilowatts waiting for you. And since the battery was going to be very warm, you can do this stop in around 20 minutes and recharge the battery at high speed. The supercharger is quite close from the exit from the highway, so you don't lose too much time to get there. It's a big parking lot which is next to two Ibis Hotel, a Ibis budget and a normal Ibis Hotel. And normally when they are open, you can have the Wi-Fi, the restaurant and use the bathroom there. Unfortunately for us, during this period, it was closed, so we could not use the bathroom. And I read a lot of comments that this hotel closed some time to time because if it's off peak reason, they don't open the hotel. So be careful if you want to do a bathroom break. You can drive a few minutes uh, from there or at the exit from the highway, there is a bathroom station there. So good to know just in case the hotel is closed. You see that there was a few Tesla cars charging at the same time as us, but it was not overcrowded and it was between the holiday, Christmas holiday. So not too much uh, there going on. We enjoy the speed of the version 3 uh, supercharger at 250 kilowatts. And in fact, we reach that speed briefly during our charging because the battery was very warm and it was an extremely warm day that day. It was 15 degrees outside. So the road was very clear and very easy to drive. But you will see at the end of this video and on our next video that the temperature in the resort dropped quite a lot to minus 10 during the day and minus 16 at night. The road is mainly a highway. So to show you, we left uh, not too far from Marseille and then we drove on the highway toward Aix-en-Provence. And from that, you take a road with a uh, highway which is going to go toward Gap. And uh, this is where you are going to pass Sisteron, where you can stop for the supercharger and you can continue on the road there. When you exit the highway, you are going to be on the smaller road, but it's still quite nice. This is in the city of Talar. And following from that, you are going to arrive at the Lac de Serponçon, which is a beautiful view when you are going to cross a bridge and have a view of this lake from both sides. And then from there, you are going to 
go toward Briançon. And this is on those images where you see that you go quite high in altitude and the snow start to appear on both sides of the road. This took us a bit more because we stopped for the supercharger. So we took around four hours to arrive at our destination. So not too bad on a very good sunny days. And it was great to see the snow when we arrive. This put us in a mood to be able to prepare ourselves for ski in the next day and also to test the Tesla under much colder conditions. So, so far so good. The GPS of the Tesla was very accurate on the road, but also on the prediction of the battery. That was my main worry to know if the drainage of the battery because of the altitude and the temperature was going to be an issue. But the estimation from Tesla was spot on. We arrived way exactly with what battery we wanted to have at around 40%. And this is what we wanted to do because at night the temperature was very low and we were expecting some drainage. We had some, probably a few percent on the first night when it was minus 16 degrees, but not too much. I was uh, worried that there was way much more drainage of battery under very cold temperature. So we have to plan for when we are going to recharge the battery. And hopefully there was a charger available in the village where we are going to go. Monetilibin has two chargers next to each other in the center of the village. And it's a network of charger called eBorn. And you can download the app to check in real time if people are charging or not at this destination. The speed you can get is up to 22 kilowatts on both sides of the charger. And you also have two uh, plug for four kilowatts that you can take and you can pay with your credit card or a charge um, card that you can buy online for this uh, charger network. But for us being um, not from the area, we paid with our uh, credit card and there was no problem there. What was interesting is that there was quite a lot of electric cars in this village were charging on a regular basis. And this is probably because this village is very well located between Briançon, which is the highest city in France, and Grenoble. And on that way, people can do a top up before they drive to Grenoble or before they leave the resort to go back home. So uh, make sure when you go there that you check on the app or when you walk around to see if there is a space available for you. Uh, but being two space, most of the time there was only one car charging and the other space was available for us if we wanted to do a top up. We didn't use it too, too much because the drainage from the battery was very minimum during the day uh, or during the night. So we only lost a few percent uh, every day and that was well enough when we did the top up there. And this charger is in a great location in the center of the village. So easy to find and you, when you charge you can walk around, go shopping in the area. But we were coming for skiing and you can see how beautiful the view is when it's a sunny day in this ski resort. In fact, they have one of the longest zip line available in Europe. We had the chance also to have some snow, fresh snow coming to us. And this is what it looked like when it's snowing on your Tesla Model 3. You can see the poor car was deep under the snow. But it was okay, we didn't need to use the car every day, so we left it there and followed from time to time to make sure the drainage of the battery was not too big. And we didn't need to recharge until we wanted to go to our destination at the end of our holiday. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and you enjoy the view from the ski resort and driving a Tesla under extreme cold condition. Let me know in the comments if you had similar situation and how did you like to drive on the snow. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button 
And if you want to see more of those videos, you can subscribe to my channel as well to see other road trip and other videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I will leave you with those beautiful images in the south of the Alps in France under the snow during our road trip with the Tesla Model 3. Thank you for watching and bye bye.